Hi guys, it's Miss Weiss, and I am going to be going over the math session two lesson for this week. It is called 20 Steps on the Path. So let's just jump right into it. We've already been learning a little bit about Hansel and Gretel's path. Um, now that the paths were well marked with fences and had pretty flowers along the way, and nice benches to sit on, more people from the village started to take walks in the forest. On the weekends, whole families brought their picnic baskets to the woods, and, their for and the forest rang out with sounds of children laughing and playing. Pretty soon, Hansel and Gretel started finding garbage along the trail. Apple cores, orange and banana peels, old napkins, and they realized they had forgotten to provide trash cans. So, they took care of this right away, and now the paths had fences, benches, trash cans, and pots filled with flowers. So we're just adding on to the things that we've already talked about. So here is a reminder of what all of these things are worth. Nothing has changed except we added the trash can. So the fence is still going to be the same as 10 steps. The bench is five steps. The trash can is going to be two steps, so that's the new part, and the flower pot is still one step long. So we're going to be looking at some of these and figuring out how long the path is. So up here, this is called the key. You see that word key? And that is going to be on a reminder of how long each thing is. So you can always look up here and it'll tell you the fence is 10, the bench is five, the trash can is two, and the flower pot is one. So this one down here has two sections of fences. So how long is this part of the path? Well, we know that the fence is worth how much? 10. Sorry, it's kind of hard to write on these, so it's not my neatest writing. And this is also worth 10. And we need to add them together. So I'm going to put a plus sign in the middle. So how much is 10 plus 10? So you could use cubes. You could use mental math. You also have 10 fingers. So you can start at 10 and count on 10. You decide the best way for you. 10 plus 10 equals 20. So this section of the path is 20 steps long. I think I gotta erase this before I move on. All right. Let's try another one. Okay, this one has a bench, another bench, and a fence. And it says write and solve the equation to find out how long each path is. So you'll see there's a line under here, right here. There's a line, this is kind of the, the spot for you to write a sentence. Now some of these sentences are going to be kind of long. So this bench is worth, how much is the bench worth? Five. And another bench is worth five again. And then our fence is worth 10. So we are going to be adding all of these together. So this time we're adding three numbers together. Now we've talked about some ways to make it easier when you're adding more than one number, more than two numbers together. So one way to do it is pick two numbers to add together first. And I always suggest a doubles fact or two numbers that equal 10. And in this one, we actually have two numbers we could add together that are doubles and make 10. So which numbers would those be? Five plus five. Five plus five equals 10. So we can combine those two, and then we're gonna keep this 10 the same. So we're gonna add 10 plus 10 again. And you guys already know what 10 plus 10 is. We just did it. 10 plus 10 equals 20. So we put the benches together, basically, and this equals 20. All right. Now for the next one, All right, so this one has a fence, a bench, and a bench. And I just want to point something out before we start. 
There's something similar about this section and this section. Can you tell me what it is? They each have the same things, but they're kind of in a different order. So this one has the fence first, and the fence is worth 10. And then we have our bench worth five and our other bench worth five. So you can tell this one is the same as the last one, but they're in a different order. It's good to notice things like that. So we can, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add the two fives and make them a 10. And then we're gonna add the fence and the answer is going to be, again, 20. So you can see all of these sections have been 20 so far. All right, oops. All right, let's try another one. Ooh, this one has a lot more, so let's talk about it. We have a fence, three flower pots, a trash can, and a bench. A little bit of everything. So to start, we know that the fence is going to be how many steps long? 10. Now, this next part, it has three flower pots. Remember, each flower pot is worth one. One, one, one. So you could say 10 plus one plus one plus one. Or if you want to make it easier, what other number could you do? Could you put them all together? What would that number be? One plus one plus one is three. So we could just write a three. Then our trash can is our new one that's worth two steps and our bench is worth five steps. So we have four numbers in this one. So we really have to think about what could we put together that would make this easier. So is there, are there two numbers that you think we could put together that would be helpful? I'm going to say the three and the two. And you don't have to pick that, but the three and the two, three plus two equals five. So then we have 10 plus five plus five. Oops, that's a little squished in there. And I'm running out of room, but do you guys know what five plus five is? Five plus five is 10. So this is actually going to equal 10. And then we have our 10 from over here still. So what two numbers do we end up adding together? 10 plus 10. And we know 10 plus 10 equals 20. So far, all of our answers have equaled 20, but they're all different combinations of um, items in the park. All right, let's try another one. Oops, I need to erase this. All right, now this one has a bench and a fence, two flower pots, a trash can, and another flower pot. <clears throat> so we'll start with our bench. We have five. The fence is worth 10. Now we have two flower pots. How much would two flower pots be worth? That would be two. Now you could do one plus one, but I'm gonna make it a little bit easier and make it into a two because I already know one plus one is two. Then we have a trash can. The trash can is worth two. And then our last flower pot is worth just one. So we need to figure out what to put together. Now, we already have a 10 here in the middle, so I, I usually like to leave the 10s alone. 10s are easy to add with, so let's leave that alone. Um, so take a minute and think about what numbers you would choose to add together. You could pick two numbers, you could pick three numbers. What makes sense to, to you? There are lots of ways to do this. You can pick any numbers really to put together, but I'm gonna show you one way that will make it easier is all three of these numbers, two plus two plus one, they're kind of small numbers. 
2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 more is 5. So if I took these three numbers, they will equal 5. Okay, so then I have 5 plus 10 plus 5. So I'm going to let you guys figure out the rest. What two numbers would you put together next? You have 5, 10, and 5. So you could put 5 plus 10 together, and 5 plus 10 would equal, let's see, let's count on 10 and count on 5 more. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this would equal 15 plus 5 more, and you could count on 5 again. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you could do it that way. Or you could pick this 5 and this 5 and add them together. What's 5 plus 5? 5 plus 5 is 10. And then you could add this 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. We've been doing a lot of 10 plus 10 today. So it's up to you which numbers you want to put first, put together first. If you do it a different way, you should still be getting the right answer. I just like to point out some ways that are a little bit easier. And as you get older, like me, you use those kind of strategies all the time. Okay, so there are two papers that go along with this lesson. There's a worksheet, which is page 61, and then there's also a home connection. And the home connection is two pages. It's usually front and back, so I had to put them in separately. Um, so you guys decide that if you want to do them all today, if you want to spread it out a little bit, that's totally up to you. I'm going to show you in Schoology, um, if you go into the week, oops, yeah, the week three and four math lessons, um, we are on math session two. So if you click right here, this page, lesson two, 20 steps on a path, page 61, this is the page that goes along with this lesson. And it's very similar to what we did on the last lesson, but now there's 20 steps instead of 10 steps. So there are groups of 20 down here. Now, it wants you to pick pick a color for the fence, pick a color for the bench, pick a color for the trash can, and pick a different color for the flower pot. And up here, it says build two fence sections, four benches, five trash cans, and 10 flower pots in the colors that you chose. So you need to do that and figure out where to put them on these three paths. So maybe you want the fences together. There's two of them. Maybe you want them in on different rows. Where would you want the benches? Where would you want the trash cans? You decide you're kind of designing this and then you can color in. So if I want, if I have made my fence um, green, I could do 10 green to show that that's the fence. So cut, pick a spot for all of these so that they all fit. And then underneath there's a line where you can write a sentence just like I was showing you today. So you add as many things as you have in that row. Okay. Then the homework. So this is the first page of the homework. This is the second page. It's usually a front and back paper. So this is called dots, patterns, blocks, and apples. Okay, so this one um, you're going to be adding up and down, which we've talked about. You're going to be using these dominoes. You're going to be counting the dots and you're going to add them together. This section you're going to make your own dominoes, but it tells you how many dots there should be total at the bottom. So take make sure you look at that. And the back side of the paper is some story problems, some math stories. Um, and one of them is a challenge. So this first one says it's about blocks. So you could even get out blocks or Legos or something or draw a picture to help you. It says Rosa has six blocks. Eric has seven more blocks than Rosa. How many blocks does Eric have? Show your work. So when I say show your work, that means you could write a number sentence somewhere. You could um, 
use cubes or blocks, you could draw a picture. Eric has blank blocks. Now, this last one is a challenge, so it is optional. It is up to you if you want to do it. It says, four apples cost $1. How much will Jenny have to pay for five apples? Show your work. So there's a picture of five apples, and your answer goes here. Um, just a reminder with these worksheets, you're, if you are able to print them out, you can and write on them. Um, I'm not collecting them, so you definitely don't have to print them out. If you would like to kind of do it on a different paper or just use cubes and talk to someone about what you think the answers are, that's fine. Do what works for you guys, okay? It's totally up to you. All right, that is today's math lesson. So I will see you soon for this math session three.